Hello, welcome to the first uh, Main Meister 10 Minute Mashup of uh, the week. Um, hope you all had a good weekend. Tonight's game is it's actually an arcade game, it's called Blood Brothers. Now, it was a game, uh, never heard, actually heard of it, it was one of the chaps, uh, one of my use, uh, I'll put my false teeth back in, one of uh, my uh, YouTube uh, uh, subscribers actually uh, recommended that I have a look at this game. Um, so I've never actually heard of it. Um, when he first told me about it, I thought he meant Bonanza Brothers, um, but it's uh, no Blood Brothers. Now, just looking at it, it looks like some kind of Operation Wolf type uh, affair. So, anyway, without uh, much further ado, let's uh, crack on. Okay, let's see. Is it mouse controlled? <coughs> Oh, it's not actually. Okay. And these are the bodies, I'm guessing they are. Yep, looks like it. Ah, and surprisingly, um, when I saw the cross here, I thought to myself, it's going to be bloody impossible to play using a, a joystick. But, uh, you know, it's actually, it's actually quite similar to, is it Cabal? I think it is. So I'm guessing, I'm guessing I don't shoot the, the dames and the dresses. Um, oops, I've just shot the horse. Yeah, Cabal had a kind of similar control mechanism. Is it infinite boots? I'm not too sure actually. Hooray! Ha <laughs> ha it's like one of these cartoons where he runs into the distance. Yeah, the other game that this is um, this is supposedly similar to is uh, what was it called again? Ah, pick up the shotgun. I didn't know you had shotguns back in the, the western times. I'm not going to continue, I never oh, just press continue, no, it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, another game that uh, was kind of similar to this was, was it Nam, whatever it was called, on the Neo Geo. It had a kind of similar, uh, similar viewpoint with you controlling a kind of uh, a character at the front and you moved across here. Anyway, I'm guessing it's not, uh, it's not set in the sort of 18th century, I mean, it's, uh, there's aeroplanes and what have you. Yeah, this is actually quite nice. It's, it's kind of Operation Wolf meets Cabal. I wonder if the original was joystick controlled or was the original... We've got a, an air balloon as well. Hooray! <laughs> um, yeah, I wonder if this, originally, if this was originally a, a kind of trackball or something. I know uh, what other game, Combat School, it utilises a trackball, I think. Um, but in MAME, when you play these games in MAME, you use a joystick. Was Cabal a jo uh, trackball game? I'm really not too sure, actually. Oh, here, let's just crack on with it. I don't recall this ever getting a port um, to the computers. I suppose when you think about it actually, I mean back in the 80s, I'm guessing this came out in the 80s, there was just so many, so many, excuse me a second. Oh, apologies there, I had to, a bit of a domestic uh, going on in the background. Um, let's continue again. Yeah, I can't even remember what I was talking about actually. Yeah, I do remember now. Um, yeah, back in the 80s there was obviously an absolute shed load of arcade games. I mean, that was when arcades were probably the most popular. Um, and it would just be impossible to, uh, to obviously to translate every game. I mean, a lot of these games probably didn't... I wouldn't say they didn't get released in the UK, but there was just so many. There was only obviously so much floor space in arcades. So, you know, arcade owners would only take 
would uh, only take obviously the best, best of the best, the ones that were selling, making the most money. And as I say, this was very, very similar to Cabal and uh, other other games similar to it. But Aye, ah, very, very nice graphics. Only one thing I noticed, the, the actual firing, um, the actual firing noise seems to kind of overshadow the rest of the sound effects. Take out the biplane. Ah, I've just uh, sussed it's actually auto fire. Continue. Have you got limited ammo? I don't even know who actually made this game. I didn't actually I didn't actually clock that from the, the opening title sequence. One thing I'm doing here, which I don't normally do when I'm playing arcade games, is uh, use continues because uh, arcade games, you know, arcade games are written to be a challenge and to simply just keep battering in infinite continues, you're completely losing the point of them. Um, I mean, most arcade games, uh, it was all score based, so having infinite lives, infinite continues, to my mind, is just uh, a bit pointless. Obviously, there's games like um, <laughs> games like Ghosts and Ghouls and Ghosts and Goblins, which are nigh on impossible. Um, I have to admit that I've actually played these games using uh, Infinite Lives just to actually see the end, because I know there's no way in a million years I'm ever going to get to the end of these games. They're just uh, too difficult. Yeah, this game, really nice, nice graphics. Um, <laughs> if I could criticise it, I would probably say it's slightly samey. It's the same. Uh, it's pretty much the same, you know, same idea. Different backgrounds, shoot the baddies. But uh, I suppose most games are are very very similar on the same thing. But you know, same object, slightly different background graphics. But yeah, using infinite continues like I'm doing here. It, Kinda of defeats the purpose of playing these games. Shoot the boar. Oh, I'm dead. I'm just trying to see how I got in for the ammo. I can't actually see. Where my ammo, if at all, is it? It's actually going down. Some nice sprite scaling going on there. There's the train, here it comes. I'm guessing I need to shoot this. Yeah, playing with infinite lives is kind of takes away the challenge of the game. But yeah, it's quite, quite nice. Just ah. oh, fireballs coming out. There we go. Yes, I need time. I can't actually shoot the wheels. Oof! Hey. Anyway, guys, listen. I think that's probably ten minutes. Um, that's not a bad game. This is a uh, Blood Brothers. I think it's called. 
Um, not too sure who it's from. Um, I'll put that. I'll uh, put the wee comment uh, against the video. So yeah, this is Blood Brothers in the arcade. Um, thanks for watching.